hope to me is the ability to have faith and to dream. A dream and the ability to see yourself in a positive and better light. The ability to look further than your immediate circumstances. I know today in the world we live in, people with trials and tribulations. There's a lot of suffering, we cannot deny that. But in the midst of all that, there is hope. And for me, I want to share with you how I have managed to hang on to hope. And I want to let you know that everybody suffers in one way or another, or is faced with the world's challenges, uh, trials and tribulations. For me, when I can't see any hope, when I'm faced with a huge challenge, I look to one source of faith for me and inspiration and hope is reading books. And here is a book by, you all know Barack Hussein Obama. He's been a source of hope for me, for what I can also become. He dispelled for people like me, with black people like me, that we cannot use our skin color anymore. You can be all that you can be. And so I even went a step further. Besides reading, I put up a wall of mentors. Uh, Barack Obama is definitely there. Oprah Winfrey is definitely there. Honorable Janet Museveni is definitely there. Nelson Mandela, my hero. Uh, Joyce Meyer, you all know that inspirational speaker in America. And then the late Mama Cereza, you all know. But the two things that these people have in common that really, really get me is their ability to give back to the world, what they had using themselves to give back to the world. And then secondly, for them to be a source of inspiration and to many people like me. Liberal America and a conservative America, there is the United States of America. There is not a black America and a white America, Asian America and Asian America, there's the United States. You know, you're doing pretty, pretty good this week here. You've uh, handled all the interviews and all the attention pretty well, so you you're seem to be impressing a lot of people. And he, he doesn't turn at all. He just keeps walking forward with his swagger. There's always a moment that causes somebody to go from ordinary to extraordinary. of a skinny kid with a funny name who believes that America has a place for him too. I think, I think we got somebody. I remember standing in front of the television set that day, alternately clapping and weeping and realizing that it was the man I was going to find a way to support. I was in Des Moines in May, and he came down off of the podium, recognized me, and he gave me a hug, and he thanked me. That just was phenomenal to me, that he could remember me after meeting the thousands and thousands of people that he's met across the country. I've known Barack probably at least 10 to 15, and I think I believe that as a leader, he's going to be a terrific. I think he has the drive. I think he has determination. I think he is a brilliant man, and he is brilliant enough to surround himself with advisors in specific areas that really share his vision and share his goal. And I think that really is true. disengaged society and to have a leader who is able to motivate his people to partake in whatever sort of thing might be happening is, is what inspires me. Obama is more like a, a blank uh, page in which some pour their greatest hopes, 
some poor, fear. Wow, this guy's the real deal. He is about, he is about change, and they're afraid. Is he too good to be true? Let's allow our unions and their organizers to lift up this country's middle class again. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. Yeah. That all men are created equal. Looking up the soaring peak, hushed and he did speak, he said, Many of Obama's friends and associates believe that one of his greatest talents is his unique ability to find common ground, a talent that galvanized liberals and conservatives. With the rock, um, young people began to realize, oh, you can be a politician. I think that I could be president if I wanted to. My generation, the generation below me, so that, that is tremendous. So I sit here in my chair sometimes, I can't pay salaries, things are really not going as I thought they would go. And I look up to my wall and say, these people, how would they do it given my circumstances? And I also know that they've been through much more difficult circumstances, but they've been able to overcome them. So they represent hope for me. So I want to encourage you to get mentors. Uh, they could be people you know, they could be your family members, they could be your friends who you respect and represent hope for you. Among us, the world's trials and tribulations and all the suffering that you could be in right now, I want to tell you that there is hope. Your ability to have a strong spirit, to see beyond your present circumstances and to know that tomorrow can be a better day. Mama Abana, Hajit Nam Farida, Uganda is proud of you. Uganda, Uganda.